I'm Josh Nilsson, and you're watching Behind the Line, Ian McIntosh. My first experience with Ian McIntosh was, I believe, at the Powder Video Awards when we had just finished The Tangerine Dream. He just came up to me in total, like, Ian McIntosh style, just, like, frothing from the mouth, like, I'm Ian McIntosh, I love you guys, I'm gonna ski for you guys, I'm gonna just, you know, blow your mind with what I do, blah, 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 and I was like, yeah, okay, okay, okay. And uh, all of a sudden, man, like, right when he came to Jackson, he just started, like, ticking off, like, all these super committing lines and stuff that I'd never really seen before, just a completely different style. I kind of always jokingly say, yeah, McIntosh is Novus with, with air. They have really good technical turns and technical style. But the difference is Max sends it. He sends some big, big airs all the time, and he stomps them. He's, he just stomps the living daylights out of everything. I'm just trying to always go as fast as I can, always look for an air in my line, always try and throttle wide open. And I guess I try and emulate a lot of skiers that I've seen in my past, but at the same time, I'm really trying to find my own spot in the ski world. He can't. He comes out of the gate hot. He skis fast, and um, if there's some, you know, kind of line choice that's going to require you to beat your slough, like that's the line he's looking at. This past season in Haines, we got tons of snow. I think we got like eight feet in a 14 day period. And this day in particular, we went out and we had a couple feet of fresh and the snow was stable and we were able to kind of move right into the steeps. We got to this one big steep wall and Mac picked his line and classic Mac, it had a big air at the end of it. Everything was critical. He had to beat his slough out of the way, and he drops in. You basically just saw the top of his helmet as he raised down the spine. He couldn't tell like what was going on. There's just stream of smoke coming behind him as he's barreling down this thing. I felt like I skied, you know, as fast as I could for the snow, and it was like I made like 12 turns and these little wiggles, and then Mac drops in, and he's just like. <sighs> like making turns like five times longer it makes half the amount of turns and a line like twice as long and like yeah that's that's right that's what I remember how Mac riffs <laughs> that run was uh was by far the deepest snow I've skied in a while on a, on a big face or uh, ever for that matter I was getting completely barreled the whole way down um, at times I was like, oh God, would these face shots stop so I can please see where I'm going. It's blinding him in the face as he makes his, his main turns. He's barely getting a visual on what he needs to see. But, you know, classic Macintosh just stays focused, hits the air at the end and, and stomps it and rockets out the bottom and leaves just a boiling cauldron of slough behind him. Dude, I love the craziest face shots down there. Oh my god! Oh my god! Today was just a big release. We finally got some bangers in the can, and no matter what happens for the next two days that I'm here, um, I'll go home with a smile on my face now. I feel like I finally got AK good, and it's just this one day.